if you can quickly run us through what you're displaying here and what is the message that you're trying to convey to your customers? I think as you can see, uh, PDS has put together uh, quite a sizable booth over here. We're showcasing various capabilities of ours. On the right side of mine is Techno Design, our, our venture in Germany, which is catering to retailers over there. Right. And uh, we do a lot of sourcing from India for catering to that part of the retailers. So we are doing our assortment display over here. Yeah. On my left side is actually uh, DBS, one of our investee companies here in India, wherein the focus is home textile, the focus is print. So we are showcasing various capabilities. We also have uh, in another adjoining booth, Poetic Gem, a company in London. So Poetic Gem has uh, tie-ups with a lot of global brands and we are trying to bring our rights under the licenses right. of those brands to Indian retailers. Makes sense. So yeah. therefore, you know, various capabilities and, and we've been very pleased with the influx of the potential customers. Right. So therefore, PDS is also talking about sourcing the service that we offer to our customers. So the fleet of services that we do. Absolutely brilliant. This is a massive show when we are expecting huge numbers of visitors. Say a customer or a visitor walks in, why should he choose PDS over your competitors? So, you know, PDS, as I said, uh, is a solution provider. So if you're just looking at a garment yeah. to be manufactured at the least possible price, then the customer may have many options around. But if the customer is looking at a garment with value proposition to the customer, you know, wherein somebody from whom they are buying the garment takes the responsibility of the entire value chain being compliant, sustainable, you know, and the, the counterparty like PDS is able to offer them multiple sourcing bases. Like we have we have our own factories in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. We have partner factories in these two countries, in India, in China, in Turkey. So somebody's ability to bring in, you know, global manufacturing base. I have 250 designers. So therefore, to specifically answer your point, I am an end-to-end -end service provider right. who would design garment, who would get it manufactured through a compliant value chain, and that's where our offering is. In fact, a lot of retailers are wanting to get rid of their cost structures. Yeah. They want somebody to manage their Bangladesh office, somebody to manage their India office, Turkey office. So PDS has been increasingly signing these sourcing and the service contracts. You know, so uh, that's where we are not just a garment manufacturing company, but an entire solution provider. Absolutely brilliant, sir. One final question from my end. We are a growing economy, a $10 trillion economy very soon. That creates a lot of opportunities in this industry. How is your company working on this trend? See, uh, one of our customers uh, is Walmart, and Walmart has recently announced that over the next few years, they are going to move 10 billion worth of sourcing to be coming in from India. You know, and the, therefore here we are, our roots are from India. You know, we have a well entrenched base over here. So as the world is trying to shift its sourcing to India, as Indian government is, you know, making manufacturing more and more viable in India by way of textile parks, production link incentives. You know, we're investing into, India used to be just a three, four months manufacturing right. kind of country where it's just cotton based, etc. More spring summer collection. Now with the various kind of man-made fibers also getting done, Indian government is talking about an integrated value chain. So we believe India is going to be seen increasingly as a sourcing destination for all the global retailers. So we are here to, you know, uh, convert that opportunity into value for our customers with various stakeholders.